Hey y'all. Okay, so I wanted to get on uh, just real quick here and talk to you about this quick start leader guide that I just posted in the office. Um, I came across this. This is another leader's tool that she shared and said, please print it out, use it, um, share it with your people. So I took her up on that. Um, what I did was I um, uploaded the document to Staples, their copy and print center, and I had them put a little coil binder on it and then I just had them put black cardstock on the back. This is not like the expensive vinyl or anything. There also is a nice clear cover on it. Um, I had them print front to back. It actually I think made it cheaper. Um, it's really thin. Okay, so It's a total of 12 pages. So it's actually only six pages. So it's really thin. Um, it ended up costing about five bucks a piece to have it printed and bound. Um, so I didn't think that was too bad. Um, you know, you want to give this to your serious business builders. If that's not in your budget, you can totally print these at home, staple them. It will work. Okay. You don't need to you know, make it all fancy, but um, I just thought it looked very professional. So if it's in your budget, do it. And if not, then don't worry about it. The point, um, there are two things that I wanted to um, kind of come across in this or, or get across to you in this video. The first thing is to keep it simple. Keep it simple. This is something that I have strived to do um, in my classes when I'm teaching classes. Don't get into all the facts and figures. Don't get into every use for every oil. Most people are not, they're only going to retain a very, very small amount of what you're saying anyway. And the more you keep talking, the, the more they're not going to remember and the more that it's going to seem unreachable for them. Okay. If you want to be duplicatable, which hopefully you do, because that is how you succeed in this business is you become, um, <clears throat> you make everything very easy and you systematize things. So that's the other thing. Keep it simple, have systems. And that's something that I have been striving to do probably for the last three years in my business because, well, two years maybe. For the first year, I just got out there and taught and I kind of created systems that worked for me, but I didn't have good systems to hand off to my builders. And so that's where I'm at now is I'm really trying to get some easy, simple systems in place that I can give to anybody. So that's what I think that this um, little leader guide is. So I want to go through it really quickly with you. Um, first thing is the introduction. Sign up for a wholesale membership. That's the first step. Okay, They have to sign up for a membership. Um, it gives a couple of options. It talks about what's in it. So if you've got somebody that says, hey, I'm interested in the business. you know, Can you tell me more? This is a great thing to bring to them um, and to go through it with them. The next thing is sign up for essential rewards. So you might be meeting with someone who has already signed up but has um, you know, uh, expressed interest in the business. You might have somebody that's been signed up for three years and has just now expressed interest in the business. Bring this. This is great. Um, sign up for essential rewards. First, they need to be for 50 PV is what they need to spend, but after three months, they need to spend 100 PV. That's because most of the money you can make at just 50 PV. You can make all the sign up bonuses at 50 PV, but after the first three months, the fast start bonus goes away and you need to spend 100 PV in order to make money. Um, there are exceptions to this. There are some times where people don't need to jump up to 100, but Typically, if they're signing people up, you know, two to three people a month, that will take care of the hundred dollars and they need to be using the products and, you know, trying new products, falling in love with them, experiencing them so that they can talk to others about them. Sharing with friends. This is awesome because it helps them get their thoughts down on paper. If you want to build a business, you're going to need to tell people. So this helps you get down who those people are. What I really like is you're identifying seven circles of influence you're a part of. For example, your family, your church, uh, your work. Uh, you know, your kid's school, you list seven different areas that you're involved in. Then you take those seven areas and you list out specific people's names who you think would be interested in the oils. It gives you a couple of ideas here. You can obviously do way more than this. Okay. You can get another piece of paper and keep going. Hopefully, um, you know, more than let's see, five times seven is 35. Hopefully, you know, more than 35 people. Okay. Um, but this is just a starting place for people to get some ideas down on paper. Um, this would be kind of their warm market, the people that just, you know, pop to the, the top of their head. Um, a launch party. Okay. If they want to do this business, one of the first things I would suggest after signing up is to make a date for a party or a class, however you want to put it. Okay. Get a date on the calendar and 
get them started with that because that's going to give them a goal, something to work towards. Okay, my, my launch party is this date, so I'm going to start to invite everybody I know to this class, you know, on this date. And that's really going to help get them started, help kind of launch their business. Um, but classes, all right, so after they get this one done, or maybe once they get this date done, then they start to do some other ones, whether it's at other people's houses, whether it's at a local coffee shop, whether it's at their house, it does not really matter. Whatever works for them and whatever works for their friends, okay? So then it lists seven, circle seven classes, so, and it gives three dates for each. So what that means is they want you to go back to those seven different areas of influence, and they want you to list dates and locations for each one of those influence areas. Okay, so let's say you're going to have one for your family. If that's your circle one, set up some dates to have classes where you're strictly inviting your family. Okay, you don't have to do it this way. You can invite, you know, everybody you know to one class. It's totally up to you, but sometimes it's more fun if you invite a lot of people that know each other. You can get a big group going. It's, you know, it's a fun atmosphere. I'm totally a blue, so I love that kind of thing. You know, you walk into a room and you know a bunch of people, and it's fun to talk to them, and the energy is just really, really cool. So, again, you don't have to do it this way, but this is a great way to organize it and to start to think about it. Um, teaching tips. Okay, this is important. Your sponsor can teach a class for you. However, they should be training you on how to do a class. So they're really only teaching one, maybe two classes for you. And then after that, you're starting to help teach and then you're teaching. Three is really a good number in my opinion. They teach one for you and you just watch, okay? Because hopefully you've already been to a class at that point, that's how you signed up. So you've been able to watch two classes now. Excuse me. You've been able to watch two full classes. By the third one, you should at least have some stories of, you know, your oils and what they're good for, how you used them, that kind of thing. That's a really easy way to get started teaching, just sharing about the, the different oils and, you know, what they, they're um, used for, how they work, that kind of a thing. Hopefully, you're using some kind of a script, whether it's a starter guide, not this one, but the little starter guides, right? Um, or you're using the product guide, which I'm going to do a video here pretty quick on that. Um, or you've got a script that you're using, okay, when you're teaching classes. So when you're watching, you know, if, if I'm the new sign up, I'm watching my sponsor teach and I'm seeing that they're reading from a script, they're reading from a starter guide. That makes it really easy for me to duplicate, okay? The very first class I hosted, Alyssa Francis came and she read word for word from a script. When she left, I looked at my friend and I said, I could totally do that. I like to teach, but I can read from a script. Most people can read from a script, okay? And that next month, I taught my first class. So <clears throat> don't make it complicated. Keep it simple. <clears throat> All right. But it's also good, you know, once you, you watch and you're interested, you know, you're involved in teaching and then you teach your own class, it's good for your sponsor to be there just to kind of, you know, help um, support, you know, if they need it, if you need it. Okay, structuring your organization. There's some information here. You need seven legs in order to make it to Royal Crown Diamond. There is a really good balance and this booklet talks about that, that there's a balance, you know, with building to rising star and getting to silver. So it kind of just gives people an idea of our comp plan and how it works because every single company is different. So if they've been in any MLM or network marketing company, they're all different. So this helps them, you know, understand the comp plan a little bit, which they need to know how they're going to get paid. Um, okay. Building momentum. This is great. Momentum is so important, especially when you're starting your business. Um, you want to build up some momentum because that momentum is going to start to, you know, it's like a snowball going down the hill. It starts out really small, but then it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And all of a sudden your organization is just growing by leaps and bounds. And, you know, you only did a little bit of the work at the beginning or a lot. Um, so talking about signing up three people and it's almost free. Okay. Now that the kid's 160, it's not quite, but almost. Uh, well, I guess it depends on how much the people spend. If they buy more than what the kit is, then you, you will get there. But classes from classes. This is so, so important, okay? S let people know that you will come teach a class for them. They don't have to be interested in the business. They don't have to, you know, any of that. But they're going to start to tell their friends because the oils work. We all know that. And let them know that you're happy to come teach a class. Um, here's something that I heard yesterday. I was, last night I was listening to some things and, you know, they said, how many of you are got an accidental paycheck in this business? You know, how many of you are an accidental builder? I am totally an accidental builder. Um, it wasn't necessarily the paycheck that motivated me. Um, well, no, it kind of was. Um, we were living paycheck to paycheck for sure. And my paycheck helped me pay for my oils every month. I signed up for, for ER thinking 50 PB a month is a lot. I'm not sure that I can do that. 
Well, my first month I made more than that and I made enough to cover the 100 PV every month from there then on out. And so then it, it you know, for me, it was like, oh, yay, I can order my oils this month and they're paid for. Um, and that's how I started out. A lot of us start out that way. So let me encourage you. For me personally, when I teach a class for someone, I give them the signups. Even if they say they're not interested in the business, sometimes an extra two or three hundred dollars makes a big difference to them. And they might end up getting motivated by that or seeing some potential and going, well, maybe I am interested in the business. So again, it's kind of a sometimes it's a short term sacrifice for a long term gain. OK, so don't cut your nose off to spite your face. Don't keep that two hundred dollars thinking, well, I'm the one that did all the work when in the long run you could end up having, you know, your, your leg for gold from that person. Um, get business builders. Um, so, you know, it kind of talks a little bit about that and then building to silver. OK, so then it talks uh, about the rising star bonus focused building. OK. Your team to silver. So again, there's a balance between building to silver and the rising star bonus. Okay, and I've seen people struggle in both. I've seen people build to silver and stack really, really hard in these legs, and then they're not able to move on from that rank. I've also seen people, you know, build seven legs and they have a really hard time getting to silver because their their OGB is kind of spread out. So there's not one perfect way, um, and you're just going to have to see what works for you. Goal tracking. This is really important. And if you're going through this with someone, go through this page with them. Like you don't have, you know, I would say skip the comp plan stuff. Make sure you do this. Okay. Get a class on the books, them doing, filling out their names for their circles and stuff. That's something they need to do on their own. But this is something that I would go through with them. Um, what is your rank goal for six months from now? What rank do you want to be? Okay, and then talk to them about what that means because if they're a new business builder, they're not going to have any idea what rank they want to be. <laughs> they, you know, may, but maybe it's, um, you know, making a certain amount of money, something like that. So help walk them through what that looks like. Create smaller goals for each month as stepping stones to your big goal. Okay, help them break it down. Uh, this is simply a guide to give you ideas on how to structure your organization and create momentum. The perfect structure does not exist. Like I said, there will be plenty of times when a situation will arise that doesn't fit perfectly into this structure. Be prayerful and make the best decisions you can with what God brings your way. Totally agree. My structure is not great, um, but God has blessed a lot of people in my business because of the structure. Um, I've been able to bless people and um, I'm really happy with where I'm at and I'm growing and I'm adding you know, more people and more business builders and it's been an amazing journey. And so while yes, there are things I wish were different in my structure, I think every single person I've talked to has said that. Uh, very few people have you know, the perfect structure. Um, so don't get discouraged if your structure isn't amazing. Um, and then this talks about your 1,000 OGV legs, which that's how you get to executive. So this helps you kind of put some names in there and maybe kind of make some connections and decide where you're going to place some people. So that's this little booklet. Again, systems and keeping it simple. This is something great that you can even mail to somebody and then, you know, call them up and do a call, kind of talk through them with some of this stuff. But um, keeping it simple. The only other thing that I would say that, that I would recommend that you give a new business builder is one of these three books, okay? Circle of Success. This, I like this one for people who um, maybe are interested in the business, but, you know, not sure um, if they can do it or, or what. It kind of, if you haven't read it, uh, Monique McLean wrote it. It's very short. Um, it's about 50 pages, and it just breaks down kind of what you want to do, okay? You share. You let people try and buy if you want to. You don't have to do that, but you can you become a member, you fall in love, you enroll in ER, and you join the team. And it talks a little bit about business building. So this is actually even good to give people who you think would be a good business builder, but they're not not—they're not convinced yet. Um, it might show them that they don't have to be a salesman. One of these two books, um, they kind of do the same thing. Uh, this one is For Your Career, Young Living Edition. In the back, it gives some stories from some young living people and how they've succeeded and what they've been able to do. Um, it's awesome for husbands. It's also awesome for people that are very analytical. Um, it basically sells you on the idea of network marketing, and it explains the concept that in four years, if you work really hard, um, basically you can retire and create for yourself residual income for the rest of your life. Okay. 25 to Life, very similar, written by Adam Green. He's a Royal Crown Diamond in Young Living. Um, and so he shares a little bit about his story, some of the very similar ideas in the four-year career. So I think these are really good to give people, especially, um, you know, if they want to give it to their husbands to read. But 
these are both really good books. So other than that, I'd give them a book and this quick start guide, and then that's it. Let them work through that. You know, when they've got questions and things, let them come to you and talk through them. But sometimes it's really overwhelming when you give people, you know, 10,000 things and say, okay, here's everything I have, or these are all the tools I've used. So try and keep it simple. Um, we have that pinned post in the office. That's another place that you can tag people. You know, if they want to do the business, you can say, okay, here, start working your way through. Maybe watch, you know, one of these a day or one a week, you know, depending on their schedule and have them just start working through there because that's going to explain a lot of the concepts as well. All right, guys, hope it helps. Bye.